All right, so this is not exactly difficult, but at my current level it is because this is a uh, an optional boss. Who I'm sure everybody remembers. So this fight is not terrible if you're at the correct level. I'm not at the correct level. I am away from it by good amounts. Oh, I hit surface. I'm dumb. That brings me straight back to the top. That was stupid. Um, but no, anyways. Let's go fight this dude. Yeah. So he's not horrible. The thing that makes him bad is his stone punch. So what that does to me is instant death and it kicks you out of the battle. Because it's petrification and an attack on top of petrification. That's basically how it works. A little ridiculous, a little overpowered. And he's got 30,000 some odd health, but he is straight up weak to magic and everybody on my team can do 2,500 to 3,000 damage on him every turn, so it'll take about 10 to get rid of him. Um, the real problem I run into though is Tidus has sensor. So if Tidus goes away, I'm screwed. It's much better for me to lose Riku. Waka is going to be able to avoid him almost every single time. But he cannot do enough damage by himself. And if he gets sucked in, uh, which this enemy is probably going to do on this turn. Uh, not necessarily Waka, but somebody. When you get sucked in, you get spat back out. Instant death. At least in my current state. Um, yeah. So. Not, not good. Not good. The odds are all against me. Thank you for taking Titus, I appreciate it. As long as you don't take Waka, I'm fine. As long as Titus doesn't get stone punched, I'm fine because Sensor still works. While he's alive and I can just bring him back to Phoenix Down and be good about it. The thing that you want to keep in mind with this guy though is you don't want anybody in his stomach when he dies because then it's 9999 damage to everybody in the party now I've got you pretty dang close to being dead and you're gonna go ahead and spit me out right now because I attacked you from the inside which is an instant death oh thank you keep attacking Waka he can evade you don't suck up Waka because that'd be bad. Um, but we've almost got this guy dead. Hopefully I can irk it out just long enough to make it happen. And now Riku's gone. Great. And the boss has gotten into his stride of speed where uh, he's not necessarily faster than me, but I can't get big chain attacks on him where everybody's attacking at once. Uh, the speed differences have shown up at this point. Alright, uh, I only got cursed on that. That's perfect, actually. And you're at 9,000, so it's going to be... Two or three more attacks. Probably three. And you're taking in Waka. Crap. And I'm cursed. Uh... Hopefully he doesn't spit me out to attack Titus. Just straight up spit me out, please. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Beauty. Because then I can get a Phoenix down on you. Good. And miss. Counter attack. Get a good black magic attack off. Yes. 
Okay. If I can get another attack from Titus, I'm good. I have to have somebody else alive at this exact point. In case he sucks somebody up, because I have to have him spit him out. Before I kill him. Okay, so now I'm getting an opportunity to heal Waka. Good. Oh, he's gonna spin him out onto Waka. Crap. Ooh, that's so close to being bad. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and use... a Mega Potion. To be on the safe side, because I don't know if he'll do damage at the end of this fight. If he does, I'm probably gonna die regardless of the situation. But, because there's nobody inside of him, and Tita should be able to do over 2720 damage, you'll die right now. Yeah, if there were if there were somebody inside him, he would have spat him out and done 9999 damage to everybody on the party. It, it's a it's the troll boss fight of as I'm dying, I'm going to do the most damage I've done to you the entire battle. We're good. He's dead. So we're fine now. Absolutely fine. Now on to the original mission, well, two missions of coming here. Uh, one is to get a weapon for Lulu, and the other is to get Anima. Now, Lulu's weapon is around somewhere. Um, or wait, no, does it spawn back in there after I've killed that guy? That might be the case. Yeah, that might be the case. Alright, so let's go look around. Uh, that looks suspicious place. There it is. Got it. I don't know if that's there before you kill him, the boss, because you get some time to free roam around. Um, but I know for sure after you beat him it's there. I just don't know if it's hidden or not. I can't recall. I've always done it after the fact. And I got a trophy for having all the celestial weapons. Yay. Does that mean I get a separate trophy for upgrading all of them? Or no, I think I get one for each time I get a sigil. That's what it is. Stupid trophies! The only thing that makes trophies better than achievements is you can have tiers of trophies. That's it. Alright, so now... Anima. I need to remember if there's some nonsense I have to do... To actually get him. Um... Hmm. So I think I just have to go through these guys. Okay, got this one, good. Got this one, good. Got this one. Good. This one. Good. This one. And look, a treasure chest. That's nice. Mega elixir. And... Mega Phoenix times four. Cool. Shoot! Um, so the way that you unlock these is you have to get the destruction sphere for each temple and the cloister of trials. Uh. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so, um, on everything except for the original PS2 version, the North American one, there aren't Dark Gaons in the North American version. So it you kind of want to get everything done on your first pass, because you have to go back to the temples if you missed them. I got all of them, except for Xanarkand, which I have to go back to in general. There's not an Aeon there. But I need to go back to it and complete the Xanarkand. Yeah. I need to go back to Xanarkand. At the very least, I have all the Celestial Weapons right now. And the only thing I really have left to do is I need to go back to Xanarkand and do the Destruction Sphere puzzle. And then I can get Anima. Then once I get Anima, I can go do the... I can go do the... other Hidden Aeon for the Calm Lands. And then after that, all I really have to do is the story, or I can go and get the sigils. I don't necessarily know that I'm going to get the sigils. But, yeah. So, what I need to do is... Go back to Sanerkin. Fortunately, they'll let me teleport around, so that's great. We want to go to Dome Area. And then from Dome Area, we want to go all the way to the Corridor. Yay! Now we're back here and I gotta go do the uh, Destruction Sphere Challenge. Or puzzle. Hey guys! I killed her! まあ、Sure. It, it actually does have to. Unless you guys can figure something out. Big babbies. Oh, I appreciate that, actually. Truth. Right on. And that series of triggers only happens after I get the airship and do the things where I can roam around freely. So now what I have to do is I have to get all of these white ones, yeah? Is that right? Nope, that's not what I want. That's going to fail it out immediately. Uh, basically, it's very simple. So this one is telling me that I need to get a total of seven. Yeah? The ones that I have to get are squares. So, easy enough. No, it's that one. I got tricked. I got deceived. And then every time you don't get a square, it'll instantly fail you out. No! I don't want to summon the elevator. Alright, so I believe that's a square. So that's two. Three. Um... And I come in here, and... Five... Six... 
And now I just need the last one. Is it you? Seven. All the pretty colors. Yay, now I got a glyph and a destruction sphere. Ooh, yeah. And then with this destruction sphere, I go. Is it here? Yeah. There we go. Simple enough. And that gets me the Magistral Rod. Half MP cost. Yep. Done. Now that's obviously not as good as uh, what a has got. One MP cost. Uh, which would be a much better replacement for the... Um, the double AP on the Celestial Weapons. If it were one MP cost on all the maxed out weapons, which I'm going to try and obtain, at the very least I'm going to try and get half, I need to look in to see exactly what I needed for all of the fun stuff. But yeah, now I can go back to Baj Temple. Yay. And now I can go get Anima. Here's a... Here's her... Azog. Come on guys, let's go! Nice and easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in the spirit of just kind of wrapping things up and getting it up, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and let this entire episode lo run long. Um, because at the very least, I want to power up the first tier of the Celestial Weapon, so that way I get the limit breaks for every Aeon. So that way they can deal more than 999 damage. 9999. Uh, which is incredibly helpful for all of them, because then their overdrives actually do some real damage instead of it being stupid capped damage, and only Bahamut can do real damage, which makes everything way easier, because that's one of the main problems I ran into when fighting bosses, was just running out of overdrive. But, if I can get everybody set up with overdrive beforehand, and they're gonna do more than 9999 damage, perfect. Exactly what I need. And is absolutely a necessity for the Omega Ruins. Necessity. If I don't do it, I will just not make it through there at all for those boss fights. At all. Boss fights in the Omega Ruins suck. And the Dark Hands are going to be even worse. Believe you me. Ooh. I'm scared. I'm just scared. But yeah. Now we can get Anima. Which is Seymour's mother as the Faith. シモアローシの母
憎しみの始まりはあの子あの子のせいなのですからそしてあの子を歪めてしまったのは私の過ち So the way that all of this works is Seymour's mother is an aeon for Seymour Anima to represent the pain and suffering that Seymour suffered through and that enabled his strength. But yeah, as, as Seymour gained that strength, it corrupted him and he wanted to control everything. He wanted to become Sin, the most powerful thing in existence. Understandable. But because Seymour's mother is tied to him, because Seymour did the right and having is, uh, he's tied together with the Aeon. She's seen everything. She knows everything that's happened. Everything that Seymour's done. She's seen all of it. The rest of the Fates have been watching as well, in general. But in particular, Anima has been watching Seymour in particular. Seeing how corrupt he's become and how everything's been bad, kind of, etc. Whatever. Oh, now comes the hard part where I have to name him. I, I had a name at one point, but I do not recall it. Um, let's see. I can't do Dodeca, or can I? D O D E C A. No, Dodecagon is too long. Hmm. So this is where it gets difficult. I want to come up with something relatively unique. But at the same time, I don't know. I haven't done Octagon, have I? I don't think I've done Octagon. Or have I? I I'm, I'm concerned now that I might have done Octagon. Um, shoot. What else can I come up with, though? I know for sure I've done Nonagon. I can just go with Decagon. Though Decagon is 12. I can't do anything higher than 10, though. Because I run out of character space. So I would have loved to have Dodecagon. But I guess I can go with Decagon, because that's 10-sided. Sure. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at my Aeons. Triangle, Nonagon, Circle, Pentagon, Heptagon, Decagon, Square. Uh, so I can still do Octagon. I don't know why I named you Circle. You should have been named Circle. That's silly of me. Um, so I can still do... Octagon and Hexagon. That's not enough, though. That's fine. Don't worry about it. That's my problem. I shouldn't have named that one circle. That was foolish of me. But I guess if, if you go into thinking about um, how Jose Temple I'm just straight up not allowed at right now. It's sad. Oh well, the problems we'll fix later. Not concerned about it as of right now. Um, but I can do hexagon and octagon, so that's cool. Good, good to remember. 
In any event, now, to finish up this episode that I'm letting run very long for the fun of it, just because I want to get this stuff wrapped up beforehand. I don't want to have to come back to it. The sigils I can do in my free time, uh, just because they're going to take forever and they're all basically minigame based. So it's fine. I might... I'm going to go ahead and try the... Um, do I not have a direct teleport? To the woods? Whoosh! If I go to the high bridge, maybe? Maybe? Poor Owaka's in jail. Feel bad for him. See all that cool stuff outside? The town? It's nice. I like it. It's kind of like Xanarkin did. Why? I cannot go backwards. That's weird. Alright, fine then. There straight up just isn't any Maclania Woods. Whoosh! Treasure! Now the choke was out of the way. Wasn't really worth it, honestly. So we're gonna ignore these guys. I don't wanna deal with them right now. Like most of the time, I just don't wanna deal with it. He just has overdrive though, that's useful. So now I just need to head back. Back up the light bridge, which is safety. And to the shiny thing. To the shiny thing. Alright, we'll do everybody's weapon once. And this will get me the first sets of upgrades. Yes, present other weapons. Please. Weapons. There is one thing that kind of makes me sad playing this is um, I'm going to finish this before I buy a PS4. So I'm not going to get the enhanced detail that the PS4 will offer. That's sad. It really is. Basically it's just the, the character models are way better. Everything else is pretty much limited. Um, but it's definitely better. That makes me sad. Just a little bit, though. Because I can transfer it over and all the fun stuff. I'm just... I'm gonna beat this before I buy a PS4. Simple as that. Now, when it comes to 10 2, that's a different story. I might have one by then. Did I just do Kamari? Yeah, I did. So we'll we'll see what uh, future brings for that. So I might be able to play that 
on the four instead of the three. Or at the very least, I might transfer over around that point. So I'm going to hold off for a while before switching over to 10-2. Because while I beat that one, and I enjoyed that one not nearly as much as um, 10. It's still... Hmm, I don't know. I'm not as much of a fan of it. But yeah, regardless. Whoops. Um, might see 10 2 on the PS4. That'd be cool. Just because of the enhanced details. Because it's actually more of a remake than a up resing. Alright, so last is Riku, and then everybody's upgraded with the Crest, and Lulu is upgraded with the Sigil. And then once I get all the other Sigils, uh, I can come back here and do all that again. The one that I'm probably going to get right away, though, is um, Kimari's, just because his is easy. And now I can show you what uh, changes on them. So, first change... They still have no AP, but they've gained double overdrive. Not not terribly useful, but at least now you can use it for a battling scenario. You can fight a boss against it, though you're losing all your AP, which is stupid. When you max it out, though, you get this. Where everybody has break damage limit, everybody has triple overdrive. The other two are variables based on the specific character. So for Lulu's... This is actually one of the best weapons you can get. The only thing that I think would make it better is if instead of Magic Booster, it had a Magic Counter, but that's it. Magic Booster is fine, and uh, Magic Counter or Evade Counter would be better in terms of the way I play, but for the most part, it's fine. It's not really a problem not an issue to that extent. So, good enough. Happy, happy, fun, fun. <laughs> um, but no, hers is good. That's We're going to keep hers set up, and she's going to actually use the Onion Knight because very good stats. Uh, the way the scaling works for them is uh, they'll do maximum damage when they have full HP. So when Lulu has full HP, she's going to be able to deal maximum damage. It's going to go down a little bit as her HP dwindles, though. So that's a bit of a downside to it. But with the with the triple overdrive, it tends to even out. Because with the triple overdrive and the break damage limit, those are the two things that are really what you actually want from them. So it makes it significantly better in that aspect. But anyways, we'll go ahead and pick this up next time, where, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'll just pick something and do it, I guess. Uh, might continue through the story, might go grind for an extended period of time to test out the Omega Runes. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to go from here. I know I'm going to be playing Blitzball, but that's about the uh, extent of it, and I need to do a little bit of grind for money. But that's about it. Everything beyond that is... I don't know. We'll find out next time. Till then. Bye-bye.